All right, we're gonna do a very quick review of set number 60346, Barn and Farm Animals. It is 230 pieces, it is in the city line, it is a four plus set. Let's start quickly with the barn. The barn itself, um, the two front doors open, revealing some um, <clears throat> a surprise. A shovel to pick up the surprise and a trash can for the surprise. Looking at the back, that's all there is to the barn itself. We're going to extend it here soon. If you look here, there's a uh, winch for lowering and raising hay. And of course you can, I got I to gotta open it from the back, but you can bring it into the window here. That's the one you want? Okay, that one might be a little small. Maybe we can find a bigger one? Can you find a, a big green base plate? No. Okay. <laughs> so the two sides of the roof do open up for a little easier access. You have a squirrel on some hay in there, some tools, a broom, and a pitchfork, and a bed for one of your minifigures to sleep or nap or whatever. So let's close that up. Let's take a look at the tractor. It's, uh, it has a scoop shovel on the front. Um, it opens like that to insert a minifigure, has a steering wheel, and it does have a hitch to attach to the little trailer here. Um, you do have the ability to attach on either side. I don't know why they did that and then just include uh, a, two, a one by four plate in, in that color, but that's okay. Um, you could, you know, have fun with that and attach more stuff if you wanted to, I suppose. All right, and the next structure here is the greenhouse. It includes two pumpkins and two carrots, a butterfly on top. The first of the, well, actually we looked at the squirrel. So that's the second of the animals we'll look at. And then a um, watering can. Here we have, I've set it up with one of our minifigures. We have a calf being washed in the wash tub. We also have um, a faucet there. And of course, this uh, farmer has the hose with some water spraying out of it and a brush. You also have this kind of bristly thing here. It does spin, and you can use that to wash your bowl, <laughs> I suppose. Clean your bowl off. Uh, let's take a look at more animals. We have a pig and two piglets. And then we have a lamb and a sheep. Uh, drinking from the water. Uh, the sheep is pretty cool. It can be sheared by the farmer here with the scissors. Okay, we're going to put that back on there. Maybe. There we go. And then the last thing, there's two last things. There's another farmer, farm worker, uh, a bin with a pumpkin and a carrot and then a little boy so yeah there we go that's pretty much it we have four mini figs in this set those three and then the one back there working on the calf the animals include a lamb and a sheep two piglets and a pig the butterfly um the bull and the calf and then the squirrel which is hiding in here um, I'd probably like to see maybe a chicken uh, uh, or something like that in this, but I don't think it's necessary. Um, I think it's really a neat set that it includes so many minifigures. Um, the build itself is actually pretty nice. If you're looking at it from the front, it looks pretty complete. Once you get to the side, it doesn't look so much. It's a very expensive set though. I believe it was $50, it might have been $60. I can't remember now off the top of my head. Prices for Lego are really weird here in August of 2022. Um, but for what it is, um, it's a bit expensive. It does include a lot of the animals, which is, I think, where we're getting that price from. Um, but I'd like to maybe see a little bit more of a build, maybe a deeper barn, or maybe just $10 less. Um, it seems very expensive, but I'm not complaining too much. Um, I think what we'll do is we'll just extend it with some red and white bricks, keep going back. You could buy a couple of these sets. If this was like a $30 set, I'd say buy three and kind of make it you know, <laughs> three deep, having barn doors on each end. And actually that would work really well. I think it would work very well actually with the set, just it would naturally connect and everything. Problem with that is 
it's too expensive to do that, I think. So, and then you don't need three tractors either, really. A farm might have more than one tractor, though, so maybe you could modify them to, a couple of them wouldn't have the shovel on the front. Um, but, you know, either way, um, I do give this set, it's, remember, it's a four-plus set, so we have to think in the mind of a four-year-old or, you know, a small child. And in that regard, I'd say I'd give it probably like a seven and a half out of ten. As an adult builder, I'd give it more like a five. It's just a little overpriced for what it is. I think it's still a really cool set. Not a bad set to have. And uh, definitely fairly easy to modify because it's nice and flat. It's nice and flat here. So we can definitely modify this, make it deeper. Um, we'll have to do something about the siding here, though, right here. So quick video. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Comment and leave like if you want. Thanks. Bye.